I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. In the last episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard, Tally, and Liara headed to Ilos, where they found the remnants of the Prothean secret facility. Saren was able to find the conduit, which led him to the Citadel, and now it is under attack. And this, my friends, is the final episode of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to our final episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video. We do have one after this, but it is a Renegade video uh, to show everything that Renegade Shepard has been doing while this is happening, or it came out before. I don't really know. The point is, in this episode, we are beating Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition on Insanity. Let's go stop Saren from ushering in the uh, fleet of reapers that apparently are waiting in dark space but thanks to the protheans never got a signal the citadel never turned on because the citadel is a giant mass relay we found out they can't get here so sovereign is here to is, is, it's not good so we're here to wrap it up and maybe even hit level 30 i don't know man we got about thirty-six thousand xp to get anyways let's do this we just arrived in the monument to the mass relays. Guess what? It's not. It's an actual mass relay. And uh, we took down some husks as we arrived, spoke to Anvina, and now we are continuing in saving the galaxy. No big deal. You're not scared of heights. The cuttlefish has approached the Citadel Tower. That's got to be a pretty terrifying sight. If you are, uh, well, anybody right now is seeing that. Anyways. That's it, we are on the outside, the maintenance shaft of the Citadel, and this is where biotics are going to come in super handy because everything here is zero G, which means singularity lifts, throws are gonna be way more impactful, which is pretty nice for us because we are gonna have a ton of enemies to deal with as we approach, which is even better for us because we have a ton of XP to make up for. Another rocket trooper over here trying to shoot rockets at us to take us down. We said, no, buddy. You die. Another rocket trooper. We're going to go ahead and actually lift this one. And then hopefully just toss it on out of here. Okay, well, that didn't quite work because it's a shaft, but you get the idea. Shock trooper here as well. Go ahead and overload him. I 
after taking out all of them in that initial wave, we want to come up here and actually we're going to hang back here but not approach too far at all because we actually can kind of exploit some XP here, hopefully, as long as everything goes according to plan. And we can super abuse the powers of an adept at the moment. Antibiotics are going to be incredibly helpful here, but we're actually going to hang back a bit. There's a Krogan on the other side there, but we don't want to approach the Krogan. Instead, we want to wait for these destroyers to come to us. Callie taking that one for the team there. Go ahead and shield boost her. We want these destroyers to march towards us without ever actually taking on it, that Krogan at all. We can just wait here and more destroyers will hopefully keep coming. Unfortunately, I could only get about five of them to spawn there, but hey, that's a little bit extra XP than what we could have gotten. And we'll find that there is a Krogan Warlord immediately here. We're gonna go ahead and lift him and go ahead and uh, just wait a second and then uh, well, goodbye. See ya. Yeah, it's super easy to take things down when you're a biotic here. Just wanna point that out. As we approach this corner, we're gonna have to take down some death troopers. Bye. You love to see it. Anyways, approaching up here, there's a few shields and a Geth Shock Trooper. We're going to go ahead and raise that and use Liara to just toss it out of here. And then we'll go ahead Singularity this one. And go ahead and toss this, oh, toss this one out of here as well. Very easy to deal with enemies in this level when you are a Biotic. Geth Sniper over on this side. You go ahead and watch out for that. Make sure it doesn't hit us. Taking those both down. We're on the outside of a ship. This is... I mean, we're walking on the Citadel. How cool is that? So let's head this way. We have to head around this area here. Which we can actually do by going right up here. And we have some more shock troopers to deal with. After we take down those shock troopers, if we just wait a second we will have more destroyers actually come at us. And yet again, we can deal with them in a similar way. Go ahead and make sure we get another throw from Liara there just to make sure he's booted out. And yet again, we can just sit here and wait for a constant trickle of destroyers. And all you have to do is just throw them and they, it's free XP. And after defeating about 10 or so destroyers, unfortunately no more are spawning, so we have to continue on. Makes me sad, man. Would have been so nice to get that extra, that extra XP, but. Now we have a Geth dropship that's going to be landing. We can attack that, but we don't want to. And we also do not want to turn on the Citadel defense turrets because we want to kill Yet again, these shock troopers, so that we can get as much XP as possible. Eventually, the dropship will just stop spamming and spawning the shock troopers, and unfortunately, that means that you're out of XP, and the only thing that you can do is target the dropship. You can't actually kill it with your own guns. You actually have to turn on the turrets. So let's go do that. Makes me sad that we couldn't get any infinite spawns or anything like that. But hey, what are you going to do? Go ahead, turn on the turrets. And they will start attacking. We can turn this one on too by using average electronics. And you'll see that it'll start taking damage. And we'll turn the third one on as well. Nothing else we can really do right now except wait for them to destroy it. Why don't you have more Geth on you? Goodbye, dropship. 
Although I do believe it goes and is destroyed. Anyways, we're going to continue on. Go ahead and save our game here. And we'll continue on over here. We're going to have two Krogan waiting for us. The way that we're going to deal with these Krogan is actually we're going to kill one of them by lifting them into the sky. And then, of course, doing what we do and tossing them out of here. But we're actually not going to bother with the second one just yet. We're going to put our team here and make sure they're out of harm's way. We're going to pop barrier on ourselves and a meta gel for Tally. Now, if I played this right, we should have another situation where as long as that other Krogan is alive, Geth's destroyers will... There we go. Keep spawning. And then we can just destroy them. As long as you don't kill the second Krogan, we will have another stream of destroyers. And unfortunately, we have finished off all of the enemies that we could get there as well. So let's go ahead and finish off the Krogan. Bye. Tossing them into outer space. Goodbye. But as we come over this way, we are going to have to deal with a big guy here. A Geth Juggernaut. Gonna go ahead and sabotage him just so that he can't shoot any more rockets. And finish him off for 1,000 XP. And as we round the corner, we'll find a bunch of turrets and even more Geth Troopers. The Troopers are nothing. And if you have a maxed out AI, uh, maxed out AI hacking, you can actually go ahead and hack these turrets. Also, something pretty cool is well okay so not really cool but you need to watch out because you can actually get one shot here we're gonna go ahead and hack that turret which will help us out still shooting at us until of course it starts targeting other folks we can actually head down into this area as well if you don't want to deal with the turrets but because we want to deal with both things we're gonna head down here too and there's a tunnel down here that actually has krogan that we can deal with unfortunately for us of course we don't have the abilities to send them uh, plummeting over the sky. But hey, we can still do some damage. Go ahead and singularity. See if we can lift these two. And toss this one away. And because we don't have any dirty trips tricks at our disposal because we don't have zero G here. We have a Krogan Warlord in the back and another Krogan behind him. We need to watch out for the carnage that they're doing. See if we can finish off this Krogan Warlord here. We're going to go ahead and stasis. And the Battlemaster waiting in the back. We're going to go ahead and take him down as well. And another Krogan Warlord. Which we're going to go ahead and stasis. And the final Krogan Warlord goes down. But that's not all that we're going to do. We're going to go back up and deal with the turrets now that we've taken down pretty much an entire Krogan army. Immediately going to go ahead and hack another turret. Which is going to destroy a bunch of Geth Troopers for us. While also doing damage to the turrets that are over on the other side. We need to be super careful here because again, this is a one-shot scenario. If the rockets do hit you, you are dead. As long as you keep moving, you should be just fine. Getting as close as we can to this turret, we'll go ahead and AI hack it. Hopefully, they'll start shooting at each other gonna go ahead and sabotage this turret so it can't shoot at us anymore
And it looks like only one turret remains up here. And the final turret goes down. And that, my friends, is everything that we can do up here. We killed all the Krogan, all the turrets. That's as much XP as we can get. Oh, we are nearing the end and unfortunately nowhere near enough XP to hit level 30. Unfortunately, that bug, I just did too much before the bug was fixed. Unfortunately, and it's, it sucks, man. Really, really ruins my uh, completionist brain, let me tell you. And now that everything's done up there, the only thing left is to head into this access hatch. And we find ourselves in the council chambers. Saving the game, we proceed up to find the last line of defense between us and Saren. Is nothing but just some Geth shock troopers, believe it or not. Taking down as many as we can. All that remains is two Geth shock troopers, one of which is hacked by us. Let's see if we can toss it out of here. Goodbye, shock trooper. Oh, you still. Really? Punk. My friends, this is it. The end of Mass Effect 1. We're at 50, uh, 533,000 XP. Another 300,000 needed to hit 80, 862,000. I don't think that's possible, my friends, unfortunately. But let's do this. Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us. And Sovereign will find a place for you, too. You're indoctrinated, Saren. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. And here we have an option with a high enough charm, a maxed out charm. We can convince Saren that we can beat them or we can intimidate him into believing that they'll betray him. We are going to choose, we can beat them. Now, if you didn't get the charismatic trophy from the situation with Rex on Vermeer, you can actually get that right now. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it, not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too 
strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. And just like that, we've defeated the final boss of the game. And that's the end of Mass... I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and activate this control panel. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension or hold back? My friends... We are going to save the Council. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements! It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. Do you think this was over? Now I we have to fight Saren. And this station is mine. The avatar of Sovereign. Let's go ahead and throw him into a stasis. He cannot do anything when he is in a stasis. 
That is why it is so incredibly powerful to just absolutely go bastion and wreck everything. Here comes. Throwing grenades. He's low. We want to make sure that we keep moving. He fights just like one of the hopper enemies. We're going to go ahead and throw him into another stasis here. And another warp as soon as we can. We'll go ahead and keep attacking. Warp making this fight incredibly easy. We're going to go ahead and sabotage. Or stasis, I should say, making this fight incredibly easy. This is it, my friends. The final boss fight of Mass Effect 1. Go ahead and throw him into another stasis because we can because it's so strong. Overload to get rid of some of those incredibly strong shields he has. Geth are going to be dropped in. I don't remember that being a thing. Go ahead and toss this Geth away. Cast barrier on ourselves. Watching out for Saren the whole time. The Avatar, I should say. Go ahead and pop Marksman for uh, Tally here. Go ahead and put Saren into a stasis. Try to see if we can finish off these again. Another bat, uh, another barrier. It is once again just Saren. We're gonna go ahead and put him into a stasis with a big warp from Liara and a marksman from ourselves. See if we can get a sabotage from Tally. Throw grenades. We need everything we have to take him down. Another warp from ourselves here. Saren's shields going down. And yet again, another stasis. Is it cheap? I don't know. down no matter what the cost hell yeah hack it now unfortunately sovereign has recharged the shields on his avatar here with more enemies dropping down to attack us we're actually going to go ahead and have tally ai hack one of them Other biotics will not work, but Stasis does. Keeping Saren, the avatar of Southern, in Stasis as long as possible. Go ahead and barrier ourselves and revive our party. Watch out for the sniper in the back there, as it does tremendous damage. Let's see if we can take this down before it becomes a problem. Shields almost down. Stasising, watching out for these rockets as they go. Fire in the hole. Saren looking incredibly low on health with more Geth dropping down. Throwing him into yet another stasis so that we can focus on taking care of the Geth that have 
infiltrated this room yet again. Only Saren remains. And he is looking incredibly unhealthy. My friends, we are going to go ahead and throw him into yet another stasis. Throw a warp from Liara. And we're going to melee the avatar of Sovereign to death. Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Congratulations, Mass Effect 1. Legendary Edition is done. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. 
Counselor, on behalf of humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? I sure do. That candidate, Captain Anderson. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. And with that, my friends, we have completed Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition, choosing to put Captain Anderson on the new council. This time, including humans. And we got the Paragon ending. But we have a lot more to do in Mass Effect 2, premiering a week from when this episode comes out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I have. It's been a ton of fun making it. A video a day was incredibly fun to do. And uh, Mass Effect has cemented itself as, as one of my favorite, one of my favorite franchises of all time. We got every single trophy, platinum, even though we did not hit level 30. I think you'll see that it's not going to matter. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm, looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers!
beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttles. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't evacuate. I'm not leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard! Liara, go! Now. Aye, aye. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack. Commander Corey Shepard's journey continues in Mass Effect 2.